Hello my friends, this is a Bellroy card pocket, a small minimalist zipped leather wallet from Bellroy, who are Australian I believe, and there's their little logo, the nice little owl, like that. Let's have a look at the, the wallet. So it's very small as I said, um, we'll just quickly measure it and then you can get an idea of the dimensions. It's uh, it's only 10 centimetres tall and uh, just over 7 centimetres wide and thickness, obviously it depends on what you've got in there. Mine's quite stuffed at the moment but it's only two and a half centimetres thick so it really is tiny and if you see in my hand you know it's, really, it's a diddy little thing, excuse the nail varnish, I've been playing with my kids. Let's open it up and have a look inside. There's a nice smooth zip actually. It's a metal zip with a nice leather tag um, on the zip, a uh, uh, pull. Nice and sturdy and it's smooth and it opens up all the way along one side, along the top and just across the, the next side. So you can open it up nicely and uh, it opens up quite wide. So inside we've got not a huge amount of, st of stuff going on. There's one central area which I have empty. I keep that uh, for receipts and, and bits that I need on an urgent basis. And then on the right hand side we've got a pocket. Now I'll just take all my cards out and then you can see inside there. So we've got inside um, there's little leather patches and then the rest of it is this sort of nylon polyester stuff. It's nice and sturdy, so there's no problems about that. In the corner here, we'll have a look at it just briefly because it's kind of pointless. There's a little uh, pocket for a SIM card. Um, uh, who, who carries spare SIM cards? I don't know. I don't. I've never heard of anybody doing that. Anyway, there's a little pocket for one. Main pocket here and then another front pocket here which I use for cash. I'll show you that in a sec. So, um, I use this back pocket here for my cards and I just start, pile them all in together and they fit in perfectly like that. There. And then if I need a card, I can just uh, fan through and find the one I want. There we go, pull that out. Perfect. And in there, I can let me let me t let me just count how many I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, and some step book of stamps and my ID card. Plenty of st of room in there, and it's nice and snug, and uh, it's nice and tidy. They don't scratch against each other. It's fine. Now in the front here, I have my cash. So let's have a look. I have my notes. Now this is folded as you can see into thirds so what I do is I fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then it fits in perfectly into there like that and I can easily retrieve it. So I've got plenty of cash and I've also got quite a lot of coins. Quite a lot of coins actually. I try to keep my coins uh, just to the, the biggest ones. Um, I don't bother with the little coins but uh, I got I got a lot of change the other day, so I've got it all in my wallet, but I need to sort that out. So what I tend to do, and I'll just give you a little insight into my everyday life, is I have my notes tucked in there, and then I get my coins, and I put them in the front of the notes, like that, so it doesn't bulge too much on the outside. Then I zip that up. And that's absolutely fine, isn't it? Loads of room in there. It's still tiny. I've got all of my cards and ID, cash, notes and coins. It's really good. I uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, Hang on, so I could have some other, other stuff in here if I wanted. Everyday bits and bobs. What else could I put in there? Oh yeah, this is good. I got a McDonald's uh, Monopoly voucher. I could keep that in there just in case I need to use it another time. Anyway, you get the message, you get the idea. So that's the Bell Royal Card Pocket. This is a nice sort of leather colour, tan, is it tan? 
Um, there's lots of other colours of burgundy and blue and um, I'm not sure what else. Have a look on their website. It's nice, their stuff. It is expensive, but it is worth it. It's very good quality. And there's nothing else quite like this on the market uh, that's that's this well made and these dimensions and this practical. I would uh, I would recommend it. If you like this review, I'm not sure that it was brilliant, but uh, if you did like it, it would be great if you could like, click like and subscribe for more. I've got uh, reviews of watches and knives and all sorts of EDC gadgets and uh, I'd really appreciate your subscription. And please comment in the uh, comment section below and we'll have a chat about this if you want. I'd uh, happily join in with you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.